my brain is getting so jumbled up because as soon as you know Haruto, uh, I, uh, Aisha, and Michan are talking. It's just, it's just like two voices happening at the same time. I had to mute the video to understand the lore. And what is the lore right now? It's like a prophecy. Six legendary stones. Six beams of light. Six heroes to save the world. Is that us? But if it is us, I've only seen five dudes that got summoned. Unless Haruto is supposed to be one? I don't know how this shit works, but hey, let's begin today's reaction. Stop it, stop it. I'm gonna mute this shit again, bro. We just fucking list, just read the subtitles instead. Yeah, you wanna join? What are you looking at me for? So, like, if we assume that I, so Aisha is Michan, isn't Aisha, isn't Michan cooking Michan right now? How does that work? Right? Because, like, she's still somehow Michan, but this is the real Michan. I don't fucking know. She got magic, huh? She can be the battery instead. Seria and uh, Ryo Okay. I just picking up Michan, bro. Look at that. You see that? Dude, I just straight up picked up Michan, dragging her into the room right now. We're not sharing the same room? Where are you going? Hmm. Sedia, attack him at night, jump him. Ooh, imagine. Imagine on the day of your wedding, some dude shows up to crash it, and it's like, "What? Are you gonna marry me instead?" Then he, then he robs her of the wedding, and then brings her here, but the bunch of other girls, and then puts her into a different bed. Rio, you gotta take responsibility for this. I hate you. I hate you so much. Fuck you, Stuart, and fuck this opening for having a preview of this during the opening. Different character. Different character. I thought it was Stuart the entire time, bro. Different dude. Sakata Hiroaki. Do we know that name, though? Is he? Ta all right, all right. It looks like an Isaka character. It's not Stuart. It's looking like... Is he the guy, the pretty boy that was with Michan? But I, I thought they all got summoned. Unless they also got their memories implanted instead. I don't know. A completely new character, maybe. I don't fucking know. Shopping in another world. Do it. Do it. Inside, there's two wolves. Lucius. Oh shit, Seria making her move. What's she wearing? Still the same thing. Oh. Yeah, we're having tea time again. Wow, just like before. Did she don't give a fuck about how we've been? She only wants to know who that home wrecker is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isekai time. Let's go. 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 From then. You understand how crazy that is? She ended her puberty at the age of 12 and has been stunted. She's like 21, 22 now. Like, bro, she hasn't changed. Yep. <laughs> oh. Seria has now confirmed that you add the age. Past life to Isekai. <laughs> mental age, ah, uh, mental age argument ain't working, bro. 
We shall contend and say <laughs> this Rudy is clearly just fucking fall. No mental age! Mental age! Mm. You could say that Ryo groomed Sedia. Straight up you could. This is a 15-year-old gauge gap, bro. Kidnap. Maybe I shouldn't be so mean to the dad. He's just useless. Oh, those letters? You mean those letters you fucking forgot to send me after the first letter? Okay. Yeah, the father did nothing wrong. He's just weak. And just inferior. Beltran, bro. Uh, these dudes. Yeah, really? Pfft, even Alfred said, huh, my attack didn't land. Cope, cope, cope. <gasps> okay. I love how he knows, too. That's the funniest shit. Race could just tell him, but he won't. Because this dude doesn't give a fuck about Charles. He just cares about having these idiot dance in front of him in his palm so that the proxy empire can truly rule this kingdom from within. There is no ruler here. Race knows everything. The sixth thing. First message. Did you watch the latest Blue Lock episode? You have no excuses for typing that after you ignored the warning message that says, if or when you ask for a schedule equals two week vacation. See you in two weeks. Okay. The Laura has the sacred stone. Pasta しかし、まだ15歳の小娘です。歌唱会の存在はユグの公爵派と並ぶほどに持っておかない。Race knows so much. Yeah, it's looking like yeah, the stones, the heroes, right? Flora, they have the stone. I hope that the dude we saw in the intro scene, the one that I mistook for Stuart, is not a hero. But if it is, it could be fun though. Cuz like a shitty hero that we correct, you know, that's always fun. That's your role now? Wait, that's her, right? That's her! That's the girl I said had the most peak design. What? What the fuck? What? She, she's just a fucking servant here for the hero? I mean, being a servant for the hero, I guess, is a good thing. So, I, I just realized something. So, you know how it was ambiguous with the um, pillars of lights? Six people. But there was only five of us. But there was also summoning happening at the same time. So, the teleportation circles that was showing up in the Earth when the five people were getting summoned, coincidence, has nothing to do with the stones. Because those three were located in the middle of the field, two of them somewhere else. But I don't think they really matter. Let's, let's take the five out of there. And... Each stone that represents different kingdoms, they have all summoned their own version of Isekai hero, is what I'm guessing at this point. So, is this show just doing more misdirections to just kind of throw this shit in the middle just to be like, ah, gotcha, you, you think these are the heroes? It's like, ah, they just got summoned at the same time, fuck you. Something like that. <laughs> Based on what he's saying, it sounds like he's a benevolent person. But judging his tone, I think that this guy's a creep. Flora, you nuts. This dude, bro. Here we go. Okay. And that's Stuart. Oh! Alphonse is stupid. 
Dude, I'm so conflicted about this because while this hero is a very self-aware isekai enjoyer that's probably really shitty, but because Stuart and Alphonse, are, sorry, uh, Alphonse are also here, the shitty hero could actually do some good things and make their lives miserable. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like any of these people. But they can be shitty towards each other. This could be fun. <laughs> it's a pretty good setup, bro. Right? I don't know what the fuck is. This art is hilarious. It's like POV of your girlfriend has come back from a grocery store with, you know, gro like fucking green onions is ready to fucking cook you a meal of delusion. And this one... I don't know what anime this is. It looks pretty cool. This kind of looks like Sedio's hairstyle, bro. But that's that's the cool posters. Yeah. It's a real novel. Okay. Hey, hey. Summoned. Ah! Oh. But why did they pick him? Right. I I wonder what the uh, mechanism is behind these legendary stones because it's just like this dude is your hero. Just a fucking otaku that does nothing but read web novels. This dude is your hero? It could be RNG, yeah. It, it could be. Just random luck. Yo. Free Flora. Flora. That's exactly it. Yeah, sure, why not? Does he have some OP powers? I mean, the katana looks really sick, but it kills me because he's probably gonna be so lame. And to have this cool weapon to be it for him, it's like, ugh. I wonder what kind of OP bullshit he has. Uh, I think he comes in with like a DLC language translator pack. It doesn't come for the other girls because they're inferior summons. But these are hero summons, so like... They come with the language, I guess. <laughs> it does. I'm the hero. They're not speaking Japanese, but the uh, auto translates on. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's very cunning. Okay. Okay. True. I didn't consent. Duke Hugna right now, Gustav, I don't know what he's thinking, but if the look on his face is intentional, I think he's mocking the hero. From the beginning, he's had a very pompous, arrogant look. He's obviously acting cordial, but the look in his eyes tells me that he thinks of this kid as a joke, I think. Poor Flora. Ah, Sit down, Stuart. I am so conflicted. Cause I have beef with Stuart and Alphonse, but someone shitty is handling business for me, so like let's go, I guess? This is weird. This is so weird right now. And what is it then, bro? No. Oh. New drip. Y'all stay home while we go shopping. They're probably going to leave the house then. Oh. And we pick up Michan. Did Aisha intentionally pick up Seria there because Aisha and Michan, same person, kind of, maybe, and therefore there's no threat in Ryo taking this Michan, but if Aisha took Michan, then Ryo is with Seria, therefore they're getting cucked. No, I'm, too, I'm thinking too deep into this. <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah, grab on. Behold, spirit arts. No, because I'm with you. <laughs> wow. Don't let Seria listen. They're the one, like, they're like the same. They're like soul partners. <laughs> no, it's all of Ryu's dark secrets. Christina called us stinky, but Seria, you know, helped us. CGI horse carriage. Cecilia. Okay, we got some aliases. Peepoo, peepoo, peepoo. Oh, we got one for you too? The voice is in my head! Alright, we're like Garlark! Galark! Manju. Hello, Chloe. New drip. That's right. It's time for Seria's new drip. I think that's what she's rocking in the opening. Okay. Wow. Amazing. About the summoning. Aisha looks very funny with her nonchalant face. It's actually pretty tame, the fan service in this show. I, I thought that, like, we would have the most cliche, like, girls changing and how to toe walks in and, oh my god, hentai slap, but I don't think we're doing that. Uh, 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 Mm -hmm. No more kitty toe the black swordsman drip. My head. Yeah, he needs some casual clothes because this, this like blue black like drip, like it's so out of place. Everyone else looks very like normal, then he just stands like, like some futuristic space warrior. Businesswoman, ruthless. Back at Beltrum. Wait, 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 wait. Capital of the Kingdom of Beltrum, guest house. So, Rizerote is obviously still over at Beltrum since she showed up for the wedding. We can't leave. Belgium just coming to become a closed kingdom. This 15 year old is way too cunning, bro. Way too smart. Clearly, it's a Kai character. Clearly. And I haven't, um, like, I know that the overlay of different characters kind of show uh, who different characters are. But at this point, is she the one that was beside Latifa in the bus? At that, I, I can assume that, right? Because, like, if, if not, I, I really don't know who this character could be if we're going to assume that she's Isekai. <laughs> so 
サリアアルボ公爵家の敵対勢力かとそうよねそれにしても城内はその噂で持ちきりのようですおそらく我がガルア早く帰らないと And the shitty hero that got summoned on behalf of like Flora Is that Garlic Kingdom? I, I don't know where they are actually. I wasn't paying attention to which kingdom they were at. Okay, so Flora's side, they're Beltram. Okay, so that guy's a Beltram hero then, okay. Everyone's dripped out. We look like adventurers now. What's that look, Aisha? Very cute look. Aisha has some cute faces making. I don't know. <laughs> look at her just like completely sprawled across the table while everyone's, you know, just sitting politely with the tea. Aisha just built different. Mm. They're like random summons that just got caught up. They could be. They could be. That makes a lot more sense, right? If those two characters were indeed here part of the hero summoning, then these three are simply just like uh, they they got caught up in like you know the summoning process. But I still don't know how the Michan and Aisha connection makes sense. Like, what is going on there? そのうちの Okay, we're going to divorce. <laughs> Why do spirits He's like looking at her like, wow, what a cute girl. This girl's look, I don't know, she's, she's so, she just, the fuck? Hmm, I don't know, there's something sassy about that. Yeah, there's some house husband, housewife shit. I wonder why, as if there's a past connection. Seria has to just put out fucking dishes, bro. And then Miharu and, you know, they're, they're, it's like couples, you know, cooking together. Better learn them, bitch. Stop reading books. Or read some cooking books. Yeah, stir that shit. And that's another episode of Spirit Chronicles. And you know what? I was a little bit worried about season two, considering it's been such a long time and people would have forgotten and maybe the studio's just gonna not give a fuck. And maybe they won't later on, but like in terms of the plot, the lore, this whole summoning system of other heroes, I'm so down. Like this whole summoning system, the shitty hero here showing up, you know, for Duke Arbor, but then Flora's also involved and, you know, Stuart and Alphonse are getting shit on at the same time. Like this is very fun. And it's also kind of like a guessing game of like, oh, I wonder which hero is gonna show up at different kingdoms and stuff. So this lore, this plot, way more fun than season one. I hopefully it can like continue to be good. So every kingdom has pretty much summoned their own. Race is just manipulating uh Charlotte uh Charles back at Beltram. Beltram has become a closed border. No one's going in or out because they think that like you know the ac accomplices are in here but little do they know race is like hey they're already fucking now so they're just fucking around. This new Yusha I wonder what's gonna happen with this kid because he shows up Pretty cunning, quite disrespectful. He's giving me good content because he's shitting on, you know, Stuart and Alphonse, maybe. But can he be actually good later? Maybe I'm being too mean and there's actually redemption because he's actually not that terrible person. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong and he's just a shitty person. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. 
check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.